everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And if you saw the video a couple of weeks ago, we made this amazing smoked and braised oxtail. And it did the same thing it always does. It brings me back to this wonderful island sort of feel. And I love when I go down to Jamaica or any of the Caribbean islands, it seems like cabbage as a side dish is just one of the most common things. I want to show you how to make an amazing Caribbean style cabbage that's braised and soft and tender and absolutely fresh and delicious. You are going to love this. Really, really simple. We need a pan with a little bit of oil. We need fresh cabbage. We're gonna use a little bit of tomato, a little bit of uh, carrots, and a little bit of onion. Those are kind of the, the three ingredients we need here. Let me show you how we go ahead and prep this and how to cut your cabbage up for this. Now you can use whatever sort of pan or pot you like to use. I like to use one of these sort of shallow aluminum pans. This thing's about three to four inches tall. Has a nice little lid that can go on it. That to me is a great way to start one of these. What I never know is how much cabbage is gonna fit in here. Probably one medium to large cabbage will be what we want here. And we're gonna fill this thing almost to the top. So the first thing we wanna do is get about two to three tablespoons of oil down in the bottom of this. You notice I am not heating this up yet. Just getting that oil in there, that's gonna help it from sticking to the bottom of that pan. I like to just take the sort of outer couple of leafy pieces off of this cabbage. And I do not cut the stalk off of this. I like to cut it right through the stalk because it helps hold it all together. So we can put half of that aside, and now we're just gonna go ahead and start shaving this. Now, it's funny, if you watch somebody that does this kind of down in the islands, they will take a knife toward themselves and cut. I am not comfortable doing that, so I like to shave it this way. I want it to be thin, right? So I'm trying to get these about that size, sort of julienne strips is what I'm looking for with these. I'm just gonna keep on cutting this just off of there like that. And not, we don't wanna cut directly into the stalk. Exactly what we're looking for here. And the reason we want this is, you know, we sort of want pieces that are anywhere from, let's call it one to four inches long. And they'll get nice and stringy, they'll get soft. You can still fit it in your mouth. You don't have to worry about trying to, you know, take out an entire leaf and fold it up within a bite. That is kind of what we're looking for. We're just gonna take that, toss it right on into our pan pot. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. I don't want these to be too large, so I'm going to cut these into fairly small pieces. Turn it this way now. We'll do the same thing this direction. About the size we're looking for right about there not too big so these guys are going to cook down a little bit now we're going to do a little bit of red onion i like the red onion for the color i think it looks amazing when it's in here it's a nice contrasting color and it gives us a good pretty look with the carrots the red onion green cabbage and the orange tomatoes right it looks a nice colors here i'm not going to use all of this let's just say we'll go with about half of this Similarly, I don't want this to be large bites, so I'm going to cut this up into smaller sized pieces because these are not going to cook all the way down. This is, you know, this is going to still be just a little tiny bit, um, it'll still have some texture to it. It's not just going to be like soft cabbage. And I always like a few pieces with a little bit of a bite to it, so you'll see what I'll do here with those. Take this last bit and I'll slice these up into slightly larger pieces just for the bite. Take those first, get them spread throughout here. Then we'll get these little pieces. Now the last part of this is going to be our carrots. Now carrots will take the longest to cook so we definitely want to keep these fairly small sized. This is mainly for color. I'm not going crazy with a lot of flavor here. I just like this offsetting contrasting color. Every once in a while that little bite is crunchier than the uh, tomatoes or the onions or the cabbage. Let's just get these and we'll put them right on in here. Now 
And the last thing we want to do is just get a little bit of our seasoning, a little salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of vegetable adobo. With that, we're going to put a lid on this, carry it right over here to the flames. Let me show you what it looks like. Got our side burner on right here. Just going to place this on here. We want to cover it up and leave it open just a little bit of a crack. The idea here is we're going to use the moisture that's in this to steam these guys. And that little bit of oil down on the bottom is exactly what we needed. So we're going to stir this up, cover it up, and let this go for, I don't know, maybe it'll take 30, 35 minutes. We'll be checking it every five or so and stirring it with a wooden spoon. It's been about 10 minutes. Let's check this out. You can already see how that's starting to look good. And you see how it's uh, the water is cooked out of the cabbage, getting nice and soft. This is a this is gonna be amazing. We do want to stir it up, so we don't want any of it to get too hard in one spot. Look at that. Alright. Cover this guy up, let her keep going. That is unbelievably delicious looking cabbage. That's cabbage? Yep. It smells so good. I want a bite. Pretty hot still. Uh, yeah. Sir. I think that's just about perfect, don't you think? Oh my god. It's good, isn't it? I want to buy that carrot. Carrot too? Yeah. It's so good. Careful, it's probably hot. All right, let's get a little bit of this cabbage right on a plate. Oh, it looks so good. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be so soft. Want some carrots with it? Yeah. You like the carrots too, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Here, I got you a fork so we can eat like humans. So listen, this was on for probably about 35 or 40 minutes. That's it. It's gonna be hot, so be cautious. That's crazy. That's crazy. You like it's it? So good. You know what I like? Yeah. It's not so. It's not mushy. It's kind of like still. You can still sort of taste the, the texture of the cabbage. And it's a little bit crunchy as well. Yeah. But not too crunchy. Do you like the seasoning on it? Mm -hmm. Got some good Jamaican seasoning. Ooh. Pretty sure you've made this before. Really? Mhm. Mm you know why I made it? Why? Because every time I make oxtail, it reminds me of Jamaican flavors. Got a little bit of a um, spiciness to it, doesn't it? Nope. Not really. No? No. I'm immune to spice. <laughs> Remember? Look at that. A little bit of onion, carrot, tomato right there. I thought I tasted onion. Yeah, see? Look, that's a piece of onion there. That purple onion? I did red onion, yeah. Hmm. More like pink onion. What do you think? Is that a winner? Mm -hmm. You want a bowl of it? All right, everybody. Safe and happy grilling. Wait, I hope wait, you enjoyed. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? The tomato. Try it. It just gives it a good flavor. You don't I have don't to eat like them. I like tomatoes. So, I bet you would like that. It's cooked down. It tastes almost like the I've cabbage. I've tried it before. I, I don't like it. You've never had it this way. All right, let me sign it off, okay? You ready to wave? All right, I'm going to sign it off. You, you get ready to wave. All right, everybody. Safe and happy grilling. We'll see you next time. We're going to enjoy some nice Caribbean cabbage. How's that sound? I want sound? a huge bowl, please. Big, big, huge bowl? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thumbs up or thumbs down on the cook? 